Hey gamers, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we're diving into a topic that's both fascinating and controversial. What would modern video games look like without battle passes? Battle passes have become a staple in the gaming world, but what if they didn't exist? Let's explore the history, impact, and potential future of this monetization model. Battle passes burst onto the scene in 2013 with Valve's Compendium for Dota 2. This digital booklet allowed players to make predictions on sports tournaments, rewarding them with in-game items as they progressed. This system evolved into the more recognizable battle pass model we know today, offering structured progression and rewards for completing challenges. The real game changer came in 2017 when Epic Games introduced the Battle Pass in Fortnite. This model offered players a tiered system where they could unlock cosmetics, emotes, and in-game currency, often gaining enough rewards to get the next season's pass for free if they completed it. Fortnite's success with this model showed the industry just how lucrative and engaging Battle Passes could be. Battle passes have significantly influenced player engagement and monetization strategies in modern games. They provide a clear progression path and a sense of accomplishment, encouraging players to keep coming back to unlock new rewards. This model has been adopted by numerous games from Apex Legends and Call of Duty, Warzone to Rocket League and Fall Guys. Compared to loot boxes, which were criticized for their gambling-like mechanics, battle passes offer transparency. Players know what they're working towards and can see the rewards they'll earn. This has helped battle passes gain a more favorable reception than the randomized loot box system that preceded them. However, battle passes aren't without their criticisms. One major downside is the time commitment required to complete them. For many players, especially those with limited time, finishing a battle pass can feel like a second job. Additionally, while basic rewards may be accessible for free, the most coveted items are often locked behind a paywall, which can be frustrating for free-to-play users. Without battle passes, the gaming industry might have continued relying heavily on loot boxes or moved towards different monetization strategies. We could see a resurgence of more traditional DLCs where players pay upfront for new content. Alternatively, developers might experiment with other models like subscriptions or one-time purchases of in-game items. Another possibility is a greater focus on in-game advertisements or sponsorships to generate revenue. This could lead to a gaming experience that feels less about progression and more about direct transactions or ad engagements. In conclusion, while battle passes have their flaws, they've undeniably shaped the modern gaming landscape. They offer a mix of engagement and monetization that has proven highly effective. Imagining a world without them reveals a potential shift back to less player-friendly models like loot boxes or the rise of new, yet-to-be-seen monetization strategies. What do you think about battle passes? Love them or hate them, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into gaming's hottest topics. Until next time, happy gaming!